Without Dr. Manhattan around to bully the Russians into peace, Mr. Light, people are going to need good old-fashioned energy to rely on. You can understand. The world can't just quit on oil and nuclear power or cold turkey. He'll dismantle our entire economy overnight. You're right, Lee. And why free energy? Well, free is just another word for socialist. We might just have to make a public inquiry to any past communist affiliations you might have had. I guess you could say I've always been one. I mean, they say I'm the smartest man in the world, but the truth is I've often felt stupid at being unable to relate to anyone. Well, anyone living, that is. The only person with whom I felt any kinship died 300 years before the birth of Christ. Alexander of Macedonia, or Alexander the Great, as you know him. His vision of a united world was, well, it was unprecedented. I wanted, needed to match his accomplishments, and so I resolved to apply antiquity's teachings to our world today, and so began my path to conquest. Conquest not of men but of the evils that beset them. Fossil fuels, oil, nuclear power are like a drug, and you gentlemen along with foreign interests are the pushers. Now listen. No. You listen. The world will survive, and it deserves more than you've been able to provide. So let's cut to it, shall we? Privately, I'm worth more than all of your corporations combined. I can buy and sell you three times over, which is something you should factor into your decision should you choose to make our disagreement public. I think you know the way out. Gentlemen. The toy people want to talk to you about some new villains for the Ozymandias line. Seems all the old villains are dead. Mr. Bite? I think I have some ideas. Mr. Bright, <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong foot. Suicide pill. Potassium cyanide. Guy was dead before he hit the ground. Thanks, Han. Uh... Rorschach's journal. October 21st, 1985. On 43rd and 7th, saw Dreiberg and Jupiter leaving diner. They didn't know me without my mask. An affair. Did she break Manhattan's heart to engineer his exile to make room for Dryberg? Does Manhattan even have a heart to break? The alley was cold, deserted. My things were where I left them, waiting for me. My coat, my shoes, my spotless gloves, my face. Putting them on, I abandoned my disguise became myself, free from fear, her weakness, her lust. Down alley, heard woman scream, first bubbling note of city's evening chorus, attempting rape, mugging, both. <clears throat> the man turned, and there was something rewarding in his eyes. Sometimes the night is generous to me. <laughs> 